This is the tale thus far. The king's need was exceeded by anger. Those who would help were destroyed. But from their deaths, a new power drawn from sin and an army that would live once more. Hello, anyone here about Sing Now or Later? Welcome to Helene's Hub. I'm Helene, along with. Thank you, dear. And welcome back yet again to Darksiders 2. This is the seventh stream by now, which means we've already put 16 hours into this game. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We're still in the Dead Kingdom. Um. It's not very. But Okay, we're still in the Dead Kingdom, and we gave the Dead King what he wanted. So, yeah, now we're headed towards the Well, or at least we're headed towards someone who knows how to get to the Well of Souls. Yeah. Oh no. Is something different with the volume on your game today? It shouldn't be. Yeah, the music sounds louder than you. It is okay, you should be able to up my volume somewhere, I think. Um, stop, is that stuttering in the stream or something? Uh, anyways, yeah, we are currently in the City of the Dead, where the dead, well, the dead roam, uh, awaiting reincarnation or rebirth. Uh, 
Okay, why was he not grabbing on there? There you go. Yeah, just pouring him a dust in the mouth. But, uh, we were going to have some very poor aid earlier today, and it was more like the but it got a bit unusual in the lower end, so I had to raise the volume, and now I'm unsure what volume I had my screen set on. Yeah. Uh, what, what's... Hmm, <clears throat> oh. Uh, what Dirk here is talking about is that uh, typically every day, or at least most days, uh, we watch a show together uh, over Discord. Um, yeah, one of the episodes today was rather soft in comparison to the others. So, yeah, that's just too surprising. That, oh, that, that, there had to be some audio adjustment made. Okay, I just need to beat you two. Yeah, I think I'm putting it's just posts. Yeah. Oh, I feel like... Yeah, I don't know what's missing here. What then? Oh, I wish you many carnage. I wish you many carnage and a bloody new year. Uh, yeah. Uh, tomorrow we'll still be playing Orcs Must Die, but yeah, that'll be for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll definitely be Carnage then. <laughs> yeah, and oh my people, that's a party I think I laid off myself. Out of boredom of hearing the, uh, too many Christmas songs in a row, and they are the parodying them a bit. Okay, so those instantly drop. Okay. Then we Wait, need to on. make. Hmm? Oh, yes, we have a Look at the railing. Yeah. They're quite big, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Seeing as. Well, Death is already a big ass dude, probably over two meters tall. Yeah. It's like half a meter thick. Um, yeah. So. Does that tell us how big the builders were? Mm. No, I, I, I very much doubt that the makers had anything to do uh, with building the Dead Kingdom. And well, it, it could also just be made thick because basically this this place is part prison. And, well, a necropolis with all the bones in the walls and everywhere. Switch to the death grid just to be sure. No, there's still. We, we, we did say it was about a whole bunch of fake and still spent. Yeah. <laughs> basically, basically it seems that everything that dies ends up here. Which includes, well, the big ass things. <laughs> that or it's just shoddily made. Actually, no, these just seem, all seem to be made. It's mostly straight, yeah. Uh, yeah, those. Something has hit those at some point in however long this all existed. But now we can return to normal and get through the door. Yeah, oh, before we forget, since we've been using these sites for a long time, and both of them have uh, female uh, womenly faces, we should name each site. Okay. And that is? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more looking for where the heck I'm supposed to go with this. This switch here that, but that didn't seem to do anything. Yeah, now getting a bit of echo from your end. Seriously? Yeah, You're it was already soft, but away. still. It's. Not out there. Okay, that's how we get to this thing. But uh, with that keeping you know, this thing active or stuck, 
We won't be anything much to do there. That is blocked off. But there are shadow bombs there, so we will need to head there eventually. And with that, we have a door which needs a skeleton key. Wait a minute. Look at those metal plating. No, we can wait. Yeah, metal plating on what? The shade, so... Oh, uh, yeah, that, it looks like it's... Is, is it locked? But it's more like... Don't, don't seem to be made for... They look like they're supposed to be armor marks. Like, for, uh, like a wrist guard. Okay. These things again. Gotta get rid of the little ones. So those are just an absolute pest. We got one with that, so okay. Uh, no, they're, they're even worse than normal scarabs, they're own dead scarabs. Okay. That's the last one. Okay, then we can focus this guy down. Something I'm trying to activate you know, and stop. Oh, I'm using the wrong button. The other shoulder I need to use. Okay, yeah, that, that was just stupid of me. Stop hiding. Come on, you give the option. Yeah. Okay. Now come. More. Okay. Stoppable. And I just try to wail down on one of them. So much for back up. One more. Come. Okay. They can just block out of nowhere. It's really annoying. Okay, come on. There we go. Hopefully there's not any more to deal with. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. okay. We have shadow bombs on this end now, but uh, we don't... We can't bring them through doors, so we can just only blow that up. Where is that going to lead us now? Good question. I wonder what I need to find out. Also, I should probably read up on uh, Scarab, but I think I recall them actually being dangerous. I don't actually know what they really do in, uh, in reality. Like, I, I presume. Of course, they are a type of bug that actually exists. 
But what they actually are like, I don't know. Nope. Uh, okay. So that's what's been causing all of that noise. Yeah, it's a and probably look like a depends. Possibly. Looks like a smaller version. Yep. <laughs> okay, I thought it was just going to fly overhead. Yeah, it looks like a smaller version of the things that are well, pulling around the eternal throne. Okay, we have a key, so we have access to a new area. Nothing hidden up here except for switching light colors. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know that uh, the afterlife had RGB coloring. Definitely going to need to bring this down, I'm guessing, since we can't go up with it. But what will be behind uh, door number three? I probably should have expected that. <laughs> A lot more corpses. Hmm. Up here. Okay. But this area, it is hard to knock around with something there. Yeah. Literally surrounded by death. Destiny Deathlands. It's, yeah. It, we've already sent plenty of beings into this world, and hello, there's that mark of the Eternal Throne again. Okay, that was mostly just a j blind jump. <laughs> mostly reactionary because... Oh, okay, I didn't notice the wood here for a moment. I thought we'd have to jump to that wall instead. It's another one of those things. Okay. Okay, easy guess what we need to do here, I think. It opens up one. What is the other one going to do then? Okay. When we were done that, we need to use this to get started with this. It's, well, we, we, yeah, we can't move in that way. So, this one on the other. And there we go. Where do we need to put... I'm guessing over here. Somehow that presses it in even though this thing is floating. Maybe the green stuff is pushing down? Possible. Yeah. So it looks like it was pushing up, so I'm, I'm a bit confused. And it's gone? Get stuck for a sec. I'm guessing we need to go through the door with one of Death's halves and nothing hidden in there. I can't actually split. Hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's throwing upwards, so yeah, I don't know how it pushes the helmet. Okay, we need to do a bit of moving around with this. Okay, I, I, uh, I think I see how we need to do this. We move death in here. Okay. No, that's not... Hmm. Oh, I, I remember. It's the same trick as last time. Uh, but then we need... Actually, we don't need to put both. We don't need to put two down. Just gotta open up the right one. This one. Okay. 
teleport the other half in here. There we go. Now we bring this thing out. Now we plant this on top of it. Hello there. Okay, that's another code. For another pathway, I presume. Where did I leave the note of those last time? I misread that. Let me to read them. Let me send them. It's a Swedish for gnome. Is it this one underneath here? Oh, Ron. No, it's not. I'll say this. There are two, there are several different words for that we try to let's say, say it to know in English, but it's still different. The Misse is one a type of gnome. And yet there's something yeah. called Tonte Misse, which means no gnome, I guess, in English. Right. Now we open the other one up. I'm actually worried if we're going to see gnomes in this game. Yeah, knowing the rest of this game, uh, they'd likely not be... <laughs> they'd, li they'd not be too kind. Right. Well, apparently... Nissan... had very much bite. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna... I'm gonna plan to double stack that. I have learned that for a good musical morning. I am a bit skeptical. Another. And done. Alright. Anyway, that won't have me for a bit longer, but at least we didn't need to look up our freaking guide. <laughs> Only to figure out that we have, all we have to do was freaking jump. What is that going to free up? It frees up the switch, but what does the switch do? Probably send us down? It's the only thing I can think of. They look like gauntlet over his car. They're all cold on it. Okay. Wait. Weren't we here before or something? Actually, yes, we, we were down here before. So now all we have to do is use that to open up other gates. Or, well, the one gate that has, yeah, has the gem. Okay, now we're moving forwards then. Instead of just uh, circling around one area, trying to open up someplace. Uh, potion, always useful. And, oh, hello. Are you? I guess uh, Kazula must have died in his sleep at some point <laughs> because he's stuck down here. Okay. Either that uh, or one of his good uh, friends. Uh, 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 I wanted to make it for you earlier. And now the game makes it for you? Or? Yeah, I okay, was just trying to kind of like, uh, even when death may die. Yeah, some of us, there's a full ride that even the death may die. Well, I guess we're going to put that to the test now, and... Yeah. 
actually, can I grab onto you? No, I can't. Nope, missed me again. Uh, just for safety precaution, using one health potion. This is going to take a while, if this. Probably going to be a trick to this. But I'm not seeing it yet. Ow. Well, the first trick is, of course, you don't get smacked. Why is he doing that? It's only shielding his face, which is out of my range anyways. Yeah. Come on. It's going ow. Why does he do that? Okay, going for the swipe again. I can't grab on. Okay, that, that's a rather small window of opportunity for me to attack. Also, I should, prob I should probably use the weapon that has the most DPS with this. Actually, can I just... Yes, I can. Just smack you in the face. <laughs> oh. Okay, somewhat... Where are you going? Okay. Oh. Just throwing a bunch of little shits at me. Okay. I, he's just cleaning out his closet or of something. <laughs> Getting all the skeletons out. Yeah, okay, that enough? That enough. Well, just to be a little no nuisance. Actually, that's doing zero damage. <laughs> okay, yeah, the, the pistol is really not used much. Oh, oh, come on, now you're bringing him in. Okay. Problem is, should I clear up the, the ex our extras or focus on his face? Okay, I know I see he does that because he, your, the game is expecting you to go for his face. And ow. Yeah, if you are close, then he'd bring both of his arms down on you with that. Did I miss you or did you spawn me? That would be a bit close. I can't taste his mouth. I guess the tentacle who are giving me his beard. <laughs> okay, that'd be a pirate name, Tentacle Beard. I guess this did we go? Possibly. I did not think I'd dodge that. I definitely didn't dodge that one. Okay, let's put up the freaking... Oh, hello. <laughs> I can understand why he put on the mask. Right. And cleaning out his closet again. Okay, just shred these stupid little things. They don't even give experience. He's literally just sending them into the blender. 
miss. No. And he hits me on the second swing. Oh, this part is wailing home. Hmm. Are these really going to be Possibly. Maybe there are souls that have been devoured or something, and that the, uh, the, that oh. the liches are uh, the wailing host's servants. Hmm. Okay, Gamble was being a bit stuttery. Ow. Wait. Okay, that point seems to actually summon the uh, get rid of. Is that is that strike summoning the extras? Uh, come on, let's try and finish this up because this, it's getting a bit overwhelming now with the amount. It's also summoning those eels. Uh, All of you, almost. Okay, get stuck on the knee for a moment. Okay, <laughs> that is one crazy motherfucker. Like, he's stabbing Kazulu in the fucking head and then he dives in after it to finish it off. <sighs> oh, what the heck? Oh, God. You need, if you want to read the name and uh, description. Yeah, Vander Smash. <laughs> Former from materials of realms beyond, brought to one in the name of dark magic. Pulsing with an eerie presence of vestigial anguish, this hammer is feared not only for its power, but for its ties to a shadowed cult. <laughs> okay, so we st we stole uh, we stole Cthulhu's welcome cane. Either Cthulhu or something resembling Cthulhu. New campaign, the Abyssal Forge. Okay, this must be part of the DLCs that come with the definitive edition. Let's see, the Abyssal Forge is a living machine designed to harness the unfocused po dark power of the Abyss. The maker who built uh, this abomination, known only as the Mad Smith, was shunned by his own people and sealed away in the Shadowlands with his creation. Access uh, this content from additional campaigns in the main menu. Okay, so... Randomized levels, I'm guessing? Or randomized... We might take a look at that, but... After we're done with the main story. And yeah, with that big badass dead, that must mean that we are close. And yeah, there's yeah, no other wait, 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 wait. here. Oh. Horseman, I believe you call. Profather, I am the one you seek. And where else would I be but the city of the dead? Would you like to ask a question, or just stand there like you've seen a ghost? Tell me how to reach the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls is a place of unimaginable power, the key to life and death, of creation itself. And that is why the Well has a key of its own, or well, that was divided long ago. The angels keep one half, and the demons the other. And never shall the two meet, unless you truly mean to save your brother. To save war, I would storm the White City. Of that, I am more than certain. But there is no need. The angels have realms beyond the White City, as the demons do beyond their dark kingdom. All will become clear to you once you reach the tree. I've already done that, Crowfather. Nevertheless, you must find the tree again, and go wherever it takes you. Have 
Absalom lives. Yes, Absalom lives on. His rage and agony spread as corruption, and he will unmake all of creation to destroy the balance. I killed Absalom once, Crowfather. If I could go back, I would see him spared. I doubt he would grant you the same courtesy. How can I restore humanity? The Well of Souls is where all life begins. Where the souls of the dead are born into their new lives. I killed the beast that haunted this place. I freed the souls of humanity. And in other times, that would be enough. But something draws power from the well, leaving only void where there once was life. I fear you have only released the souls into further torment. Then there is no hope. Humanity is lost. Not so. Even now, you carry with you the power to restore the well. The Nephilim? If you sacrifice their souls? Yes. They alone have the power to undo what was done. So I must sacrifice the Nephilim. My kin to restore mankind. The Nephilim are dead. By your own hand. That broken talisman is all that remains. Would you leave them to eternal torment in that cage upon your chest? Okay, once again it feels a bit like the dialogue is anonymous, I've left you a gift, okay. But again it feels a bit like the story is a... Like there are a few sentences missing of yeah, how things connect together. Because... We weren't really told that there was something like keeping this place, uh, yeah, causing a fuzz in this place. Like the Dead King didn't say that there was a thing like that. We, we just seem to, yeah, run across it. Yeah, no, then we haven't been talking to NPCs. Oh, possibly enough. So we might have missed some. Yeah, that sort of stuff is more meant to be mentioned. Well. When you're getting sent somewhere, like the main quest dialogue, you should. Yeah. Make haste for the tree. Okay. Didn't uh, they say there was something guarding it? Um. I'm not really recalling the dialogue, dialogue of the dead king at the moment, so I'm not actually sure. He might have said that something was. Causing a ruckus in here, but I'm drawing a blank on that. For now, though, let's actually we don't need to go back to the Eternal Throne. We need to go back to the tree. And before we go to this new area, hopefully we'll we'll go back to the Maker's World for a bit to turn in, yeah, to turn in some of the side quests for Thane. Uh, yeah, for Thane. Uh, there it is, okay, for more <laughs> turn around. And oh. not so fast, horseman. You're following me. So I am. I will remain here at the tree. Should you have need of me on your quest. <laughs> and dust has a beak for more than corpses, horseman. Follow him. And you will find the key. Follow dust, find the key. Can't be that easy, cruel father. You may be right, death. The future is a secret even I cannot keep. I gotta wonder though, why the hell is he being cooperative at all since, well, we killed him? Well, Maybe he's, he's just happy to be rid of the Nephilim's uh, souls tormenting him. And now stuck he in death's have, chest. He might be a found piece in death. Like, normally if you die uh, in the, you know, full of regret and rage, you usually stay in the place where you died and haunt people. True. But he still so, has those chains. Again. And uh, then again, yeah. those chains were physical as well. In, in, they aren't metaphysical in any way. Yeah, I just realized... We've been in the, in the Deathlands, and we've been facing a lot of angry dead. Yeah. 
And not the foundry, we need to go to Sky Stone, because that's where I sleep. Did he move inside? No, he did not. Okay, then we can turn in our side quests and pause train up a bit as well. You fought the Guardian with skill and cunning. I suppose you might make a warrior yet. Kidna will trouble you no longer. I only wish I'd been there to see her suffering. If you can pass through darkness and emerge unscathed. Was he was his face always that bloody? Uh, I suspect that uh, he may have got a bit uh, hurt during a certain thing you let uh, through. That one's my favorite. Could be. Okay. 3,000 guild, which is a bit <laughs> a, uh, a small amount compared to what we've already got. Very uh, well. Okay, back to the tree. Wait, hold um, on. The currency is called guild. Yeah. Not the uh, UI guilt, but oh. GILT. Thank you for that. I want just to ask. Okay. I'm pretty sure we saw with the uh, Master of Arms, or Master of Blades, something like that. Uh, he had other skills to teach us, I think, so let's give him a visit as well. And there. It, it's a, I find it a bit annoying still that on the map you move around with the right uh, control stick and not the left like you typically do in other games. Yeah. Call this the kingdom of the dead. I haven't met a corpse that hasn't tried to kill me. There are creatures in this realm that will not stop at trying. I call them the bloodless nightmares of claw and bone that cannot be slain by common steel. There must be some way to kill them. Bloodless are vulnerable to things of this spirit. Like kills like, is that it? Yes. And as the dead king is quite fond of his bloodless, kill as many as you can. How are these bloodless formed? Souls must pass through the city of the dead before they are reborn in the well. But some escape their torments to haunt other realms. Thus do the dead walk again, and the most corrupted of them become the bloodless. Their flesh can be destroyed, but their spirits resist killing. Okay. Bit odd. Let's see. Ah. So let's just buy all of these. Yeah, we have enough for this. It won't leave us made much. You would have done well in my army. Okay, achievement full potential. Kill three bloodless in the realm of the Okay, why would they? Why are that weird? Butler training. Yeah, we can. We can find shields. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we can't really buy anything here now, but let's get a few health potions at least to fit stock up. Actually, let me <laughs> let me fill it up completely, since it seems like cheap as can be. Then I end up finding a bunch, but <laughs> better to still have them. Actually, okay, not, not in that box at least. <clears throat> okay, let's check out that mail and then we go look what where we need to go next. Uh, yeah, it seems like we'll have to go after both demons and angels. Let's see, gift from Anonymous. Stage 2 has been unlocked for you to continue your journey to conquer the Crucible. And the Emperor. An emperor is born to rule, it is in their blood. With this knowledge, confidence is gained early. You have gained this and more. Reign your enemies, more and challenges have been unlocked in the Crucible. Okay, so I'm guessing most of the males are going to be from that. Okay. 
Yeah, then if, if the rest of the males are just going to be that, then we can just ignore it when it show when they show up. Because we just be no. We deep yeah, we just be tracking back to a mail station or yeah, to read more of stuff we're probably not going to do anyways. Now though we have two up more portals up this way, and one of them has opened up. And yeah, it's pretty easy to tell which <laughs> which faction we're going to visit first. Oh dear. Realm of yes. the <laughs> I I think I heard you kill you. Okay, I was expecting a cutscene. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had to giggle at that. I don't recognize this place. Where have you taken me? This place is called Lost Light. It is an outpost, far beyond the gates of heaven. And it is here that the angels have hidden the key to the Well of Souls. Why here? Why not the White City? There are some amongst the angels who would use the key for their own purpose. So it was hidden here to safeguard it from their schemes. Or so they hoped. The well has power over all life. It does. Though I suspect there is more to your question. Go on, Ryder. Ask it. The four never knew of the well. Why was it kept from us? For fear of what you may have done with that knowledge. The Nephilim could not be allowed to ravage creation any longer. They needed to stay dead. Then the well can bring them back. And so we get to the root of it. Yes, the well is the font of all life. Angel, demon, mankind, even Nephilim. But from their blades they wrought chaos. And from that was born corruption. You were right to destroy them. Okay, so even if the Nephilim had stayed, had had lived, uh, their actions had already set something in motion that would well cause the corruption to spread. Hmm. And that is what uh, Asphodel, I think it was, is. Why, what he is after, he's, he wants death, well, dead, so he can collect the, the container that holds the souls of the Nephilim and res resurrect them at the well, uh, yeah, at the well of souls. Okay. Oh dear. That, that makes more sense now than the first time that I played through, where it just seemed like he was just an asshole trying to cause as much destruction as possible, well, which he still is. He's also trying to resurrect what basically this world's version of uh, an orc horde. Okay. I remember some of this place, I think. Not much of it, though. I certainly don't remember it looking like a uh, autumn. <laughs> a what? Autumn. Like it's an. It's in perpetual autumn with the uh, leaves oh, and such. Oh, okay, okay. So now I get you, now I get you. I just need to hurt you a bit then. <laughs> Should I even ask what you heard then? Actually, I wasn't sure that I was hearing at all, that's why I was asking. Okay, hello. Closer. See what Vulgrim has to offer. It's been a while since we've seen him. Fresh merchandise. Yeah, many streams ago. Okay, if we <laughs> if we had more money, we could get one of these legacy boxes with a random possessed weapon. Okay. Yeah, let let's save up for that because if we can get a good pair of <clears throat> if we can get a good pair of possessed claws and upgrade those with uh, crit uh, chance and stuff, then. Yeah, we, we'd have a very powerful weapon. And yeah, we could race back our abilities if we'd want, but there's no real need to. Legacy artifacts. Okay. It doesn't actually say anything. 
pretty freaking expensive, 25,000, which is half of a legacy box. Hmm. And it doesn't give in the description, so... Oh, hello there. The only vague descriptions. Um, one thing before I forget, I because I items. almost did. If you have the coin. Let's see, we forgot to sell these to uh, the trader on the <clears throat> on the Eternal Throne. But we can sell... What is oh, that? We, we, I we suppose also have uh, the stones for the other guy. Yeah, let's see. Bone key. Take this item to the Forest Lands tomb to unlock its many treasures. Wait, is is that the four-colored door that we saw in the Forest Lands? Possibly. So we'd have to find... Okay, we'd have to find 40 pages total to get access to that, I think. Hmm. We, we, had, we didn't find the Soul Arbiter's maze. Hmm. Okay. We might have to look around for that at some point, but I'm not planning on 100% in this game. Let's see, what? I saw something spawn in the distance and it wasn't dust because he's behind us. I saw, like, a, a small pillar of light. Hmm. Or was that just something spawning in? Get the feeling we're being watched. Okay, there's another one of those. Okay. Another one of those. What now? One of those uh, four. One of those Simon Says doors. I'm going to call them because they have the four different colors. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, hello there. Yep, we are definitely being watched. By what? And Valdram more keys. Yeah, there's definitely going to be something with that. Yeah. Maybe once we're done with the dungeon here, we might go back to the Forest Lands and see if that key is enough to open up that door in the Forest Lands. But I'm going to presume that the answer to that will be a no. Yeah, and as well, uh, try to use the stones for some permanent buffs. Yeah. But now, though, we're here. Rather, or here is. Here is the Crystal Spire. Okay, corrupted pigeons. And we should have expected something to start a fight here. If not, well, if not the corruption, then the angels themselves would have started them. Oh no. Okay. That going to be all for now. By Abaddon's eye, it is. To me, quickly. Okay, who the hell is this? And of course, like his brother Death, it, you know, like his brother Death has a little mercy for the angels. I don't think I have much mercy for the angel or the demon. Yeah. The problem with the ancient demon are not all of them, and probably even outright are afraid of them. Normally. Yeah. 
Eric. Me there. Uh, okay, there's quite a bunch of them. Uh, let's do this, clean up a bit. And just for our own safety. Okay, that's not helping too much in staying alive. Potion. Oh. Okay, he's keeping a few of them busy. Okay, another potion. Okay. We're level 18. What level are we? 17. Okay, so we are a bit underleveled, actually. You mean you have not been killing enough? No, we have been killing most everything along the way. Only a few that we missed, or skipped. Yeah, 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 what okay. More like we skipped. Still, a few enemies shouldn't put us a whole level behind. Was that it? That seems to be it. Okay. Now to help one page and defend off of each other's. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's one more. Oh, Tony, what the heck are you doing? Welcome to Lost Light Rider. From one warrior to another. Do I know you? I am Nathaniel. I fought beside you. The gates of Eden would have died were it not for your blades. But I'm not troubled that you don't recall me. Your thoughts that day were on killing Nephilim. You're of the Hell God. I was. But I guard the light now. And the Archon. You'll find both in the Crystal Spire. But something tells me you are not here to glory in my master's radiance. What gave that away? I'm looking for a key. I would guess that what you seek is no simple key. For that, you should consult the Archon. He sees much from the peak of his spire. How did you come to leave the Hellgard? Abaddon sent me here to watch over the Crystal Spire and the Archon. There is much at stake should the Spire fall. What is this place? An outpost. We call it Lost Light, for what we left behind in the White City. Here, we are closer to darkness. And who is this Archon? Lucian is the head of the Scriptorium. Those angels who record all that he sees when he peers into the shadow. The Ivory Citadel holds their records, an archive vast beyond thinking. Where is this Citadel? Lost beyond the mists. Pray your business never sends you there. The Archon's that way, Horseman. Perhaps I have other business. If that business takes you to the Kingdom of the Dead, you would serve the Light to deliver this scroll. Okay. Nathaniel's scroll. Nathaniel of the Hellguard gave you this mysterious scroll. Travel to other realms to find more information about the one named on it. Uh, who, is, who is the one named what on it? What business have you in that land of corpses? I seek an old friend. A lost soul. Where better to look? Take that scroll to the undead court. That they may answer my question. Is he looking for Draven? Uh, that doesn't make sense. Uh, Draven, or the Master of Blades, was a human, so he would not know an angel. I have everything an angel needs. As for you... Okay. May the light yeah. shine on your path. Yeah, he's also a merchant? Yeah. Let's see. Health 
Anything here with health per kill? Well, he's one heck of a heavy armored merchant. Yeah. It's... But it is the merchant who just thought, well, I had enough. I'm gonna bloody defend myself against bandits. Find the one who guards the throne. He will have my answer. And may have gone overboard with it. Whatever you're here for, I hope you find it. Okay, so he means he, he wants us to give it to the Chancellor. Okay. I very much doubt that the Chancellor is the one he that he actually wants the letter to end up with though. But for now, let's just continue upwards towards this Archon and see where he stuck the freaking key. Because I very much doubt that angels have doormats to hide them under. Besides, I, w I, I wouldn't be surprised if it'd be too big to hide underneath one anyways. <laughs> it would be very obvious, just a massive, ha a massive half of a key and then just a doormat saying you're not welcome on top of it. I hope they have me. Uh... No one's gonna clean that up. Get some cash. <gasps> okay, so far this place is peaceful. Can I grab no more drink? Okay. And it's also the smallest so far by the looks of it. Okay, and there, there's the crucible. Okay. Hmm. Now it makes sense that this place is rather small since it's only an outpost. It would be a bit harder to hide if this place was giant. Yep. Oh, come on. I'm back. Okay, gotta be aware of their swooping attacks. And they don't seem to care much for me attacking them in the first place to interrupt the air attacks. But I gotta keep in mind that it's the main site that my sights that heal. Oh, hello there. It's under stone. The black root. So. Uh, death. <laughs> okay. No, no, no! Don't blame death on your poor aim. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's, I had it right over the target. <laughs> and still, he was missing. Oh, no, it's for a second. Pardon. Yeah. Okay. What would you use a lobster to scratch your nose? <laughs> Taking a healing potion for precaution. Because he, these guys hit pretty freaking hard. It's probably also because we are a level behind. Actually, I've, we should check up. I haven't checked up on my weaponry for a bit. And okay, we have a skill point. We All right, don't have... that, was what, that was what I was trying to t tell you when, before you met the Cthulhu to check on the new weapon. Yeah. Oh, I mean, after you've defeated Kofu, I mean. Let's see. So it uh, heals for 15% damage done. I'm thinking about taking this because it it is only 10%, but if we get a critical hit when we use, you know, we're use using Teleport Strike, it would, should heal a lot more then. Okay. Actually, these sites... Yeah. yeah it's a critical chip. Actually... Wait, which is these are the ones we have equipped then yeah health on execute health per kill but the damage is very low like we already have things that are 20 percent damage more and these are yeah going to be even more okay let's take these for the moment wait those are the same design <laughs> okay is the need to name them Possessed gauntlets, da, da, da. yeah, no health, steel or such. 
Wait, the Panda Smash doesn't have any special abilities on it? Okay, that's a bit disappointing. On the wait, look at that, that again. Is it possessed yeah. or? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it is possessed. Or no, wait, yes, that that's the vendor smash. Okay. Why did they give it a a? Okay, tell me, is that a Dutch? Hmm? No, it's not a Dutch, Dutch word. It's German. Yeah, I think it's just a German, uh, Germanified uh, version of just smash by just sticking a C in the middle or a CH. Under smash. It, it's kind of random if you think about it. Yeah. Okay. It has a lot more. Happen. Okay. You got a bit more roby? Let's see anything special with these bloodless talisman. Let's see. When equipped is Okay, so we, we need to have that equipped to kill the bloodless, but we're probably not going to hunt them down specifically. Let's see arcane crit, arcane and some health. Crit chance and arcane. Critical damage, arcane crit damage, nope. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we're just sticking with this thing again from level 12. Well, at least we have something to use as a sacrifice for the, the new hammer. Yeah. Where do we need Wait, to... ain't that so active? If it was, it would have exploded by now. Yeah, it was just lost. It looks kind of active to me. Where do we need to throw this? Wait, 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 wait. Stand still a little bit. Hmm? And listen. Yeah. What? Why is it sounding like that? The bomb! Because it's still very volatile. Yeah, but... Hmm. I don't know. The, something about the sound is disturbing me. It gives me the... the Deep drop it. <laughs> okay, we need to bring this across, but we can't climb up a ledge whilst holding one. Oh, can we? No, we can't. Okay, where do we need this? First, let's just get rid of that one. What the? No yeah, boom? I just chucked it over the edge. Yeah, but... No boom? <gasps> no earth shredding kaboom? <laughs> no, I think we are out there was no boom from that. And... Oh god, this wood is flat. Yeah. Let's see. Is... No, I very much... I very much doubted that is the White City. But what is that place then? This place is supposed to be far away from everything else of the Angels. Or at least the farthest away. Did I see something? Yeah. Let me do a little test here. I, saw, I thought I saw some of the corruption bubbling up around that. No. Okay, and where do we need to throw that? Just... We can't run along this to get across. Besides that, I'm pretty sure we can't... You know, <clears throat> we can't roll, uh, run with the Shadow Bomb anyways. So how are we going to get... A, sh a bomb to these crystals here. Hmm. Are we missing something from the clear? We're Unless... missing something at the very least. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Go back to the... the... Uh, broken area. Yeah. What? Hmm. 
if? Hear me out here. It might be crazy, but what if? We need something to land there to make a bridge over. So we can run with the explosion over to that other crosswalk. Hmm. We'd have that there'd have to be crystals in sight for that. Hmm. Or there's something somewhere else that we will need to drop from high above to make the bridge. Yeah, but we can't get up higher because the past and uh, the way to get up uh, the wall is blocked by the crystals there. Or is, did we miss something in here? Yeah, it's just a switch, so it's low or high. Couldn't get any ho yeah, higher anyways. Hmm. We can't grab the bomb from the other side. I must be missing something. Yeah, what what are we missing? You, I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, I, I get the feeling I got stuck on this when I originally played through this as well. So there's nothing else here. I just solved it. Hmm? I think I just saw, saw it. Do, do you remember the death cross? Yeah, we can't we can't grab it from the other side here though. It doesn't have the reach. Oh damn it! So where does this need to go then? We're limited to here. Then you think off the edge or something? Wait, how far can you throw? Yeah, pretty far, but not around the corner. And these things will go off the moment they land. Hmm. We're overlooking something. Actually, idea just now. Maybe something that can... Maybe something can be done with the soul splitter? Hmm. What if I throw a bomb at the other half? Will they just catch it or...? Can we Yep, yeah, there we go! Okay. Yeah, we, don't need, we didn't need a bridge then. Nope, we are the bridge. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, I definitely got stuck on that. <laughs> the first time. Uh. Okay. <gasps> Would it, would it have been something we could have learned about earlier? Uh, that if we throw something from one of the halves to another, that they'll just catch it. Out of the shadows and into the light. I see you, horsemen. The things you have done. The lives you have ended. I know why you are here. Then you will give me the key. I have guarded the key for centuries. It is mine, and I will not part with it lightly. Not now. Corruption spreads. In our city. In our hearts. Only I remain pure. A beacon against the darkness. Helpless to push it back. We are not all helpless, Arka. Huh. Perhaps not. After the seals were broken, and Hell's legions loosed upon the Earth, many divine relics were lost. One, the Rod of Arafel, could help reverse what has happened here. 
I dare not retrieve the rod myself. The gates to the White City are closed to any angel who visits Earth. But you... are no angel. Acquire the rod, and I will clear a path into my citadel. There you will find the key to the Tree of Life. As for what you will find on Earth, after you face it, even you may curse the name of war. Okay, so we're, we're sent on another freaking fetch quest. The pool will bring you to Earth, Rider. Do not tarry here. If you want the rod, you will tell me where to find it. I have seen much while staring into the deep, but that I cannot tell you. The kingdom of man was swallowed by darkness when the armies of hell invaded. I have seen only glimpses of the Earth since then, but enough to know that the rod of Arafel is safe and our only hope of redemption. How does the city of light fall to corruption? It wasn't the city that fell, but those within. It began with just one angel, weak of will, given to doubts. When the darkness called, he welcomed it in. From him, the corruption spread. It seemed only I could sense it, gathering above our heads. And though I warned my brothers of the storm that was to come, they did not listen. Only when the cloud burst did the city of light fall and other realms have fallen since. Your pool, is it the only way to the kingdom of man? It is the only path that I know of. You can thank your masters for that. To preserve the balance, the Chard Council forbade all travel to the Third Kingdom and destroyed those means that already existed. Even the Tree of Life was burnt, like so much kindling. Yet you have the means to travel to Earth. Not everyone obeys the Council death. That is why they have their horsemen. You speak of this realm as if it were your own. The guards call this place Lost Light. But it is here that the light is to be found. And I am its source. There's nothing else you can tell me? Not until you find the Rod Horseman. Then all will be revealed. Okay. So that is the White City. Seems rather close, but I'm get it might as well. It might just be uh, a portal or just a projection of it. Possibly. And what do you think of the Archon? Uh, he's very shiny. <laughs> I mean, as in personality. <laughs> yeah, he gets a he has a bit of a crazy hermit feel to him. But uh, then again, uh, there is that saying, if you stare into the abyss for too long, the abyss will stare back into you. And yeah, yeah and he's I've, been doing this for centuries. Yeah, and he says he's been only able to see glimpses. So I think he has been misunderstanding war a lot. Yeah, if he did see what actually happened, he would, <laughs> he would know that war is innocent. But this does have a bit of an interesting bit, that during the war is still finding his way through the Chosen. Uh, with uh, the destroyer planning to invade the White City. But now we know that even if he did succeed in invading the city, he would find it already in... Yeah, either... not really... not ruins, I'd say, because it looks pretty intact from here, but this is a very long-ass distance. But he'd find it in conflict already. Hmm. Yeah, but in probably more political conflict. Now, but, the way well. he says it, and well, the corrupted angels that we saw, it could be that there's already fighting in the street going on or something. But we'd have to go there to find out. And now, though. <laughs>
<laughs> it's going on. Okay. Uh, well, the audio is gone. Yeah, so it was not on me. It's still gone. Okay, what happened? We've had this happen before, so we just need to do a quick restart. Uh, um, yeah, there's that uh, new additional campaigns. Yeah, this happened one or two streams ago as well, and it seemed it's yeah. When I restarted the game, it seemed to fix that, but yeah, that's that, that should have been a bug that should have been worked out long ago. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, when did you see last time? No, it was either the last stream uh, with the, uh, <clears throat> with Darkness Two or the one before that, I think. Was this Don't game Oh, this game always what? Does this game have all the same? Yeah. And I, di I did a save there just in case. This is the tale oh, you thus did. far. <laughs> a thousand souls wailing for vengeance. A mighty battle. An old friend returned. The way to the well is yet closed to you, Ryder. But there are keys for every door. Okay. No, we. There should have been subtitles as well for that bit, but no. Oh, hello. Get what you came for, then leave, Ryan. Okay. Yeah, the, the subtitles still should have worked during that, but no, apparently. Yeah. No. Uh, this is the thing. This is Ow! Okay, for now though, we have freaking zombies to deal with. Okay, the, the swarm. Okay, fitting, since, well, zombies tend to swarm and all that. Okay, okay that it already? <laughs> oh, nope. Oh, no. Again, three health potion. Oh, hello, hello there. It's been a while since we've seen any of you. Oh, oh. almost died there. Okay, how do these things do so much damage? They are only one level above. Probably because there's so freaking many of them, but still. Okay. Come on. Like, how are, how are swarming enemies doing this much damage? Well... All of them hit me at the same time? Uh, it wasn't even that, it was only a few each time, I think, from what I could see at least. Hmm. I should kill you for what your brother did here, but you 
saved my life. Consider us even. What do you know about the Rod of Arafel? A weapon of immense power, brought to Earth by the Archon Hestus to battle the demons in the End War. But Hestus fell, and the Rod was shattered. Now the Destroyer uses its pieces to fuel his army of darkness. What was broken can be reformed. Where are the pieces of the Rod? In the hands of the Destroyer. He has summoned creatures from the Abyss, and drawn forth his chosen, things of blasphemy, who even now divide this world into their own hellish domains. The Suffering are one such beast. They feed upon the dead of this world, and twist them into a swarm of flesh and bone that fight as one mind. It was they who attacked us moments ago. One mind, easily sundered. I will not risk more Hellguard to recapture the Rod of Arafel. But, should you wish to undertake this fool's errand, then follow the trail of corpses left by my brethren. The fool's errand? Well, it would not be my first. So that it is not your last, take this. <laughs> okay, we're starting off with one of these now, huh? Okay. It's a different variant! Salvation! Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure the other one that War got his hands on was called Redemption. Let's see, X for Ground Blast, right trigger, rapid fire, left trigger for oh, thanks shotgun. Thanks for warning. Why are the Hell Gods still on Earth? You lost your ill, in case you haven't noticed. Where else would we go? All of creation saw what happened here. How the Hellguard marched before the seals were broken. The White City is closed to us. We can never go home. What are these chosen? They don't look like demons. No, they have something far more ancient, drawn from the heart of the Abyss. The most powerful serve the Destroyer, and rule in his name over ash and bone. The rest kill everything around them. It is a wonder you've lasted this long. Even the dead march against you. You speak of the swarm, of all the creatures that roam the wastes. They most hunger for revenge. Not even death can stop them. How many angels died here, Yuru? Too many. But for every dead angel, there is another, kept alive against his will. Their suffering empowers the Destroyer. Perhaps you could release them from their torment, Pale Rider. If you wish. However... All I can offer the captives is a swift end. That is blessing enough. Okay. Uh, hopefully this thing will prove a bit more useful against the swarm. I cannot. Yeah. Than the sites. Why did she keep that thing? Uh, <laughs> no idea. Not sure I want to know either. But let's just call it... An angelic pocket, uh, yeah, <laughs> angelic bag of holding for now. As long as you a Metal Gear Solid hiding place, I'll be fine. Yeah, speaking of that, Beanie has started a, a long play of that, with the intention to finish it uh, on stream, or at least get as far as he can. Uh, and again, he has been a bit known to start things and leave them unfinished a bit later. Uh, still, not sure if we'd ever start with that game as well, because it is a pretty long one. No, but he's, he started with Metal Gear Solid 5, I should uh, make clear. Yeah, it, not like just going through the entire before. series. That was only 24, but that probably should be a limit to how long it takes. Yeah. Like, if there's a game that would take, uh, like, okay, just run the number, like, 30 streams, um, yeah. Probably not a good idea. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at how long uh, Ritual of the Night took, because that has been our longest series so far. Yeah, but how long what was that? I'll just play it, please. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll use that as a, a benchmark for now. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, oh, okay. 
put the painting we, we together might, here. We, we might learn what those things are actually called now. Yeah, we never, you know, we never got uh, names when we were locked on with war. And let's see, north, west, north, west, east. Okay. We still need to find where this freaking art maze is in the first place. Like I'm, I'm assuming it be in. The, <clears throat> I'm assuming it be in the, the kingdom of the dead somewhere. Off the grid. And also, this thing is, yeah, this thing is proven to be more than capable of dealing with the swarm. Oh. It seems to be some sort of hive mind of zombies, unlike the normal ones that war encountered. And yeah, it's kind of turning the game into an FPS more with this. But I'll stick with that as long as it help us kill these things so much faster. And yes, I will just camp in a building to let them kill themselves in the entrance. I see a, a, a spot on aim, Joe. Yeah. Okay. There we go. One down, nine to go. Oh, okay, it's more like a grenade launcher with the secondary fire. Or some sort of boss beam. Okay, yeah, it is more like a shotgun. Okay. Okay, but moment I thought one of them snuck up on the side of me there. <laughs> no, no, there was some, I think, some guilt. Oh, hello, there's su suffering. Okay. Uh, I'll just do the typical uh, <laughs> shooter stuff, back up, and keep shooting. Return from Donkey. Okay. Now then. Guessing from the weather, actually no, Uriel was in a place that looked... Uh, nope, good. In Dark Shadows 1, Uriel was in a place that looks rather stereotypically metropo met metropolitan. Metro metropolitan? That would be the word, I think. So that could be basically anywhere. And I, I was going to joke with the weather here, we're likely in London or so, but. <laughs> Again, I'm pretty sure London doesn't have architecture like this or. Not I've been there once, and I can't actually remember how the architecture was. Yeah. I, I thought it was time for the Golden Burger. Okay, then it's America. Uh, doesn't it, of course, doesn't have to be. You can still get hamburgers in London and such, but still, <laughs> if there's one play, if yep. flash burster. Okay. Uh, what do you want to call it? It's called a flash burster, apparently. What if, I would have expected more a name like flame burst or something. Unless it is flame burst. You know, burst. Yeah, I, I saw flash. We'll see when uh, we encounter another one. Yeah, just in case you misread that for. Are they oh, but I don't think it's not a flash burster. Well, that might be taken out of context. Oh, oh, yeah, flesh yeah, burster. Flesh burster. Yeah, yeah it is bursty and all, but yeah, it's why? a lot more flame. Yeah, it's a lot more flame, more flare than flesh, but. 
Oh, this place is burning. Well, you don't need a lot of flesh junk around it. Okay. Slowly, but you go. I almost got me there, but got close enough, almost. Their roars betray their position. Dropping plenty of spare salvations in case we lose this one somehow. Okay, it's two down. Okay, we missed that, whatever happened there just now. It's. Coming in the explosion. Okay, they can jump. <laughs> oh. And they can sneak. Okay. Wait, it's not the first time I see jumping zombies. So the only one I recall would be... Oh, what was it? Oh, really? It's a bit like the Chinese or Thai... Tiny zombies that... I still think that they only can move by jumping. Yeah, that, that's the... that's the Chinese zombies, yeah. Or also called the hop, also called hopping vampires or something like that. But instead of yeah. blood, they drain life force. Yeah. They, they, before vampires drank blood, they drank life force at the beginning. With. I'm sure that the, the transition for life was not a game. Gotta wonder about this, this swarm though. Like, are they using part of the consciousness of the victim to, yeah, seek, seek revenge on the, uh, well, the angels and demons? Then, then again, no, it's, it's con they're being controlled by a demon. Hmm. So if, if there was anything of the original mind left, it'd be, yeah, it'd be twisted to, uh, towards the angels. Uh, then again, but the, the angels and demons caused quite a mess each when things went to, well, a bit little hell. So, what's that there? Some chests here. Yep, sneaky. I was expecting an ambush uh, there. Nothing of too much use. We can use this cash to get a possessed weapon. So that will make it of use. Okay, we can just walk over there. First though, let's check the side passages and we'll get this, I believe it's a relic. Yeah, a relic of Renegoth. A rare relic of the Renegoth house, known for their fearsome combat abilities and courage under pressure. Okay, yeah, we need to we need to visit Ostagoth again to sell those relics too. Let's leave that sealed for a second to check over here. Hopefully the enemies can't just go through it. Okay, is this just here in case we fall down? Uh, yeah. Thank you. What the ring? Why do I suddenly speak in a, a Scottish accent? 
Nothing of much interest, so up we go. Yeah, I, I've heard that people dislike this part of the game because it turns it into a shooter, but yeah, we both saw how much damage those freaking swarms do. So yeah, it's yeah, it is sort of forcing you to use the gun. But personally, I hello. Oh, that's the staff. Okay, <laughs> but I didn't expect it to find it webbed up like a <laughs> a corpse or something. Let's see, once part of the Rod of Arafel, the Staff of Arafel engulfs the Holder in its true power. Pretty sure a Staff is supposed to be bigger than a Rod? Uh, I think I can even the first one. What defines our Rod and a Staff? How do we get that? Brass? Does that even work on collectibles? No. Okay. Uh, I very much doubt that shooting it won't do anything good. Okay, how are we supposed to get that? We can't grab onto the piping. We don't have a double jump. You can't climb the wall traps? I'm not seeing any climbable wall parts here. They'd be a little more obvious if they were. Okay. Hmm. And I guess we have no Yeah, we have no choice but to leave it behind for now. What's the sigil of the Eternal Throne doing here? It's from the Dead Kingdom, not the Earth Kingdom. Oh, wait, but... Oh, we went in a... Okay, we went back right now. And it closed behind us? Okay. I very much doubt that Uriel will be tapping with just one part of this thing. Oh, well, no, I, I, I was thinking they don't have a reason to I find a piece of the rock. Be wary. There are things that lurk beyond these barricades that the Hellguard dare not face head on. And the remaining rod pieces, do they lie past the barricades? Yes. Pass through the city, and you will find the next piece beneath the earth, in an old abandoned tunnel. Where will I find the final fragment? I do not know. But the rod has a will of its own. Find the second piece, and it may tell me where the last resides. Okay, so standard rule of three with this stuff. The Rod of Arapo. I feel like there's a meme I've been hating too much that ruins the name. And should I ask? Ara Ara. I can't yeah. believe I even said that in that manner, but yeah. I think if you have been mine, oh my, oh my, something. I'm not really sure, actually. I, I think it's because it's, I think it's come to the point of that it's used so much that people use it without really knowing what it actually means. Well, as what the YouTuber actually put it up, it just means my my, or equal influence with my my. Yeah, people have been using it. it, it have have they have? Uh, he has to reach a point where he may have uh, accidentally uh, over six while it's uh, just a regular sentence. Okay, what have we here? Gore hammer. Right trigger to fire explosives, left trigger to detonate. Okay. 
Okay, a bit of variation. I didn't. I actually, yeah, War had got his hands on a similar thing like this, or actually the exact same thing, I think. Wasn't it like Warhammer? He, ha he got his hands on a weapon that fired explosive bolts, I think. Yeah, but no, I think this is a different model. But yeah, they he... don't seem to work in a very similar manner. Because the one just is like the light model. Oh, hello there. And hello there. It's a friend! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't we at... I'm pretty sure we weren't near death there. What yeah. do you mean not near death? We are back. But I'm saying we're pretty near. Okay, let's stick with this thing for the moment. Uh, is that big one going to show up again? Yep. Just keep shooting, keep shooting. Yep, don't overshoot <laughs> that this thing overload and heats. Yep. Much better. <laughs> it made it look like dust flew straight through its chest. Yep. Much more manageable. There we go. No, there's an angel there. That's out of range, actually. Okay, let's drop... Oh, hello there. I certainly would have missed that one. Actually, if I had the freaking redemption equipped. Okay. There. Oh, the stone. Wait, hold on. Maybe you could shot the earlier thing in the tunnel earlier. Uh, earlier what thing? The one in the pipe that you couldn't reach. Uh, it, it wasn't a stone. It was one of the pages, I think. So we wouldn't we wouldn't have been able to use the lure stone on it. Oh. I think I remember we went down to a war but used the what it was called. I think war used the tailor. Could be. Either but way, it was a big demonic gun. Yeah, I think I guess the tailor is the is a very heavy version of what their gift is. I guess Goran must be more like the more lighter version, that is a bit more precise. Oop, I saw you. Just sneak up on me. Oop. spawn right in front of me. Okay, dust which way? And that way, oh. Then we're going this way because there's a stairs down. Except for more corpses to <laughs> turn back into normal corpses. What? Okay, that, that must be another of Uriel's barricades. So this is probably the way back. Might as well clear it out now then. Oh. According to Chatty, there is. You know, according to Chatty, there is a bot that has been connecting and disconnecting across the entire stream now. 
Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, during one of the... Uh, during one of the yeah, moments that I could hide away. Come on. Stinger is here. During one of the cutscenes, I lo uh, looked up their name in the list of confirmed Twitch bots. And yeah, they popped up there. So yeah, after stream, we'll be throwing that one out as well. Dungeon. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing this just found a city map because I, I'm not entirely sure that Ooh. this would normally count as a dungeon. This thing just deals so much more freaking damage than our sights or claws does. You wanna keep it? Yes, but we'd likely have to drop it off at the end here. Is this supposed to be a crossbow? No, uh, it fires a bit too fast for that. Plus it has a rotating chamber. Yeah, then the question is, what the heck is the Bonefall Tour style? Are they either style or they are both of white by so far? Like, they may not provide a string, but they may be doing something else that help it uh, fire. Yeah, I, I think it's more an er aesthetic thing because, yeah, heaven, crosses and such. Uh, I hate them. Do they... Hold on. It seems like the, uh, most of those blades are lighting up. I think that's more the, the barrel flash. The muzzle flash, that would be the correct term. Hmm. What the heck? Oh. Okay, we... That's the... That's the tower... Well, that's the tower that, uh... War is headed towards. What the hell? Yeah, I don't remember There's anything about this. Oh, no, it's a it's a walking hive. Okay, need to get rid of you as quickly as possible. These stingers. Okay, we can't waste all of our time shooting the bugs out of the air. We need to kill this thing as well. Try not to overheat this thing too much. Extend stone. Okay, <laughs> thank you for accidentally giving me one of the stones. No, kind of just. Okay, we were just on the range of that, I think. Yeah, that keeps up the fire a bit more consistently. Uh, oh, and... Okay, I've lost these freaking bugs. Okay. Got a, a boatman point and a, a stone out of that. Uh, no piece of the rocks. Um, dealing with aerial enemies and shooters like this is always annoying. 
especially if you're using a controller instead of the mouse. Not the best place to try and ambush me with an emergency heart, dude. <laughs> close to the second piece we are because we are approaching the two hour mark There's a difference between crashing a car and blowing one up with a <laughs> with an angel's gun. Well, I'm used to seeing you blowing up a car one way or another. Yeah, they, I, they are overdoing it a, a bit with the the number of these uh, the swarms. These. Let's have a quick look. It's yeah, nothing better there. Nope. Yeah, a lot of things you can sacrifice for the hammer. Yep. And just more stuff here. Yeah, we'll definitely have to continue this next time. But for now, let's at least get that long that second piece of Lighting themselves up. <laughs> okay, that one <laughs> had planted themselves a lot smarter. Like a boomer from Left 4 Dead. Yeah. I They're overdoing it a bit with the number of these swarm, especially with how hard they can hit. We, we have we have the equipment with the most defense equipped. Wait a second. Now maybe one one change I probably would have implemented is making them a lot easier to kill. Like make one shot, one hit, drop them. Then the uh, then the swarming thing would work a lot better. Making it known just how many of these how many of these freaking things there are. While still keeping it manageable in both normal and well gun Pardon? In both normal and gun uh, combat. Because now they're coming like every five seconds or so. Oh, oh, come on, another one. Okay, and that was fireworks going off outside. Oh, heal. Freaking seconds with these swarms. 
like someone put the Left 4 Dead arena, uh, yeah, director AI in charge and put it on extreme. Okay. They still freaking hurt. And I see something flashy behind there. starting to wear a bit thin on me with uh, the, all of this. Maybe this could have been a done a, uh, could have been done a bit better if they'd if they'd saved the gun for a little bit later. Like still with lower their health. Uh, st still lower the health of the swarm. But keep them in a good amount of numbers. But make the gun, yeah, make it a lot easier to just come on to just shred through the, the swarms. At least they're giving experience, which is not something we could say about their hosts. to see now why people disliked this part. And at least yeah. we've got the stupid second part here. I think the people who liked it are usually the, uh, the well, the adrenaline junkies. Okay, Eye of Arafel emits an eerie power providing a vision of what's to come. Okay. Adrenaline junkie is the correct term for anyone that uh, demands non-stop action uh, those be more for the ones that seek it out in real life but could apply to yeah horse you know horse shooter type uh, <coughs> uh, gamers or, uh. Uh. I guess I did, did not use the crypto correct to the <laughs> it doesn't really matter too much. You have found the second piece. I can feel its power within you. Mirad wills itself whole. You may be deaf to its cries, but I am not. The final piece lies beyond this barrier, in an area heavily fortified by the shadow. The destroyer will not be pleased when I restore the Lord of Arafel. The warriors may pay the price. The White City is lost to us. This broken world will soon be our grave. And yet we must fight on against the darkness, to uphold the light. If your actions hasten our end, so be it. May you live to see the Destroyer take his last breath, your ill of the Hellguard. Good luck, Ryder. The final piece is the ring you cross. She seems a lot more reasonable here than she was uh, in Dark Souls 1, but then again, she had to war was the one she blames directly for the deaths of uh, her yeah boss and potential lover so yeah it would make sense why she'd be a lot more pissed off with war than with death yeah what are you basically framed for that yeah okay. let's find a let's find a somewhat quiet spot with this Give us moments to breathe, please. I think the game is saying no. Like, is that sound notifying a swarm, or is that notifying them coming close or something? Okay, are you done? You're done. Okay, save. Uh, there we go. Okay, still a good amount of progress this time. And, well, gotta say that death does 
look pretty badass with that thing. It's a monk on it. Wait. Oh, it seems that I forgot to plug in the power source of one of my side lamps. And again, that that's not really of much use now. Seeing as it's almost dead. Oh well. <laughs> I should probably just keep it plugged in all of the time then. Uh, yeah, a good amount of progress and a bit more insight into what's actually going on. I. I wouldn't say that the story of the, uh, this game is really a weak point. It's more like a weak in how it's being told, I think. Uh, it feels the, it feels a bit disjointed in how it's being brought across. Yeah, that, that moment it was very good written, all of that. But then there are the moments where it feels a bit like a weird cut to the next segment is off that just feels a bit awkward. Yeah. Like with the cold water, like at the beginning when we first met it was fine, but the, as quick as it, uh, 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 cut him was done, we instantly went into a different topic in a very awkward manner. Yeah. Because I'm trying to think now, how many games were doing dialogue systems like this back then? Like it was with Mass Effect 1. I'm pretty sure that's not the first one that at least used this uh, radial style with it, at least. Hmm. Uh, they, cha they changed up the gameplay quite a bit and tried to add a lot more than they may have been able to smoothly insert. <laughs> as smoothly as, well, they could have. But it's, yeah. it's still a good game. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we <laughs> we killed Cthulhu. Uh, and next time we'll finish off this area on Earth, and after that we'll have to go find out what we'll have to get from the demons to get their half of the key. Uh, until then, though, uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And yeah, until next time, have a nice day. Uh, until then, yeah, I, I keep missing up my. I should write this freaking down somewhere. <laughs> until next time, have a nice day and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whichever you celebrate. Be safe, folks, and Happy Holidays. And watch out for the new Yule Goat. <laughs> I think the smaller one burned down. Well, yeah. Until next.